Good morning, guys. Today is the day. It is glorious outside. It is sunny oh, outside. No, I'm excited because we're gonna go pick up our boys. Today is the first and morning. The tack. I'm excited for the tack. And the tack. Oh, wait, we have some surprises for you. So, um, uh, today I woke up and it was the first time in a long time that my legs were like, let's go. I was so excited to get out of bed. My girls were out of bed before me, like um, bringing our boys I home. I was sitting in an hour, like I was sitting, I was laying down on my bed in my room for an hour and Ruby jumps on my bed. Like, yeah. Because it was late. Yeah, Ruby's like, get up you lazy bums. <laughs> yeah, she always does that to me. I'm like, Guys. Yeah. I'm wearing Equizen. Today, Sophie is wearing Equizen. All Equizen. If you guys don't know, Equizen is a brand. It is a company that provides amazing, good quality nutritional supplements for horses. Turn around and let's see. They recently sent us a couple of packages, and Sophie is now the poster board for Equizen, and she'd be loving it. Oh, and I'm starting an Equizen hat collection. And she's starting an Equizen hat collection. But actually, the company... <laughs> they sent her too. It's beautiful. So the company is actually like a supplement company. Um, but I think they should go into clothing because their merch, like those vests, are gorgeous. Their base layers are amazing. Like that gray is all shimmery. And base has, layers also have some. Yeah. So Sophie be loving them. Gabby be loving them, but she's not wearing that today because you know why wear riding clothes when you're not going to be riding? She'd rather wear her crop tops in the middle of freezing cold weather. But today is the day. We're bringing our boys home and I hope it's gonna be a good day. We also have some other things that are gonna happen that might so shock you and surprise you. You guys, it is the most glorious day on earth to bring our horses home. Like, I was so worried about the rain and it's actually beautiful. God knows what he's doing. I feel like that's a sign that we're meant to bring them home and I'm excited. But one thing I'm not excited about and I am kind of excited about is today is the day that Sky is leaving us. You know, messaged me this morning and told me that she thinks she's ready for Sky, that being home and not being having a job to do, um, she has time now for her. She's ready for her, and so Sky's gonna go home. So when Fiona told me that, I was like a little bit shocked and thought, well, maybe she doesn't trust our fencing because. <laughs> I'm worried about our fencing. Maybe she doesn't, maybe she's scared we're gonna forget about her when the boys come home. I don't know what, and I asked her that because I'm not one about keeping secrets. I said, do you not trust us? And she said, no, I really just want her here. I'm ready for her. And that's all I needed to hear. I know that Sky is not our forever horse. I've known her for a long time. I, I know that we're just a stopping place for her, a place to help her have some constants, some constant handling, a time for her to just settle. And now she's gonna go where she really belongs, with her owner. Yeah, it's gonna happen, Sky. That almost made me cry, guys. She's listening. She's like, what's happening? Where am I going? So today is gonna be a happy time because our boys are gonna come home and it's gonna be a sad time because we're gonna say goodbye. We've only had Sky for uh, three months. We've had her for three months. Yeah, it's been three months, guys. And I've loved having her. And the most important thing is that Skye fulfilled the need in me. She helped heal me. Yeah, you. She helped heal me, you guys. And now I feel healed, mostly healed. I feel ready. <laughs> and she's gonna go. But look at, you see, she's like catching in my emotion. She's like, I will hurt you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a hurting dog. She's a hurting horse. Anyway, so she's getting ready to go home. Sam's getting ready to load up the truck. I need to get Sophie down here to put some shavings in our boys' stalls. And then we're gonna go get our boys. But before we go, I wanna make sure she goes to her home beautiful and clean and fresh. So I'm gonna do one last groom with her. Snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the 
the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone to sleep So all that's left is you and me I can promise you're the only thing I see Hold my hand and hear the words I say Close your eyes and let us fade away For you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream Quiet voices in the night Time is running out of sight Passing by Tries to carry all the whispers that it finds The walls are listening when we talk Making echoes as we walk There's no one left but you and me It's like a made up place that only we can see Gabby has been in here organizing. organizing. She doesn't know that I'm rearranging this whole yeah, no, thing. Well, I like what you did here. Could you explain it to us, Gabby? Finn's saddle underneath it, Sophia's saddle pads. My saddle, my saddle pads. My Lemieux saddle pads um, arranged in rainbow. And then I have my white ones. Are I'm these all yours? Yes. None of Sophie's are over here? Are none of Sophie's are over here? No, none. It's Gracie's too. But the white one has to hang up. It's not going underneath there. And then over here is <coughs> Laura's lowly, l Laura's lonely saddle pad. That's I it. I have one saddle pad. I Willow love this saddle it. pad. This is Willow a gift. Has one saddle pad. And Willow's saddle pad. Fiona. Yeah, that was a gift from Fiona to me. Fiona has been like a massive gift to us. She's been a massive gift to so many people. I can't even tell you how many people have been affected and touched by her. She's been amazing, incredible part of our life. I feel sick of the thought of being alone without her trainers, but oddly today, I feel up for it, you guys. They're only just a phone call away, and we know when Stella died, they were only just a five minute drive away, so I trust that we'll still have them. I'm teaching Willow. <laughs> You're teaching Willow the same way that um, Brooklyn was learning? I'm saying Willow. Good whoa, girl, whoa. Willow. You're Good girl. This is what I want, you guys. This is what I want to see. I want Willow to realize Gracie is her only friend, and I want Willow and Gracie to be friends. It's going to be an amazing summer. I know COVID-19 is threatening to ruin everything for everyone out there, and a lot of you guys are suffering with all the things you can't do. But this summer, I'm gonna concentrate on all the things that I can do. Even if it's just walk around my own property with our horses. Like, I'm gonna make the best of this time, you guys. And I hope you guys do too. Last look at the fields, you guys. So this one, by far, is probably the smallest. But it's not too small. These are our fence lines. We have three. We put the fence up higher. So this is number one and we're leaving this one till last because 
It's got some wet spots at the gate and I, I want the grass to grow. This is field number two, which maybe, they're pretty all equally, equally sized. This might be the biggest one. It's pretty big. And this is fence number three. This is it. The only thing that confuses me is that he didn't put a fence wire on the bottom, on the gates. See the gates? That's kind of scary. Now the sky's gonna be gone. We're gonna put all the horses together. Maybe in this field here, the middle one. Yeah, it's gonna be a big day. Sam also put a more powerful charger on this fence post here so that this has more, more electricity in it. So this is it, this is it. This is it, you guys. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries. And I've always known what I want. Just didn't know what came along. Finding myself a much less happy. Back in the days I used to dream about one day Hi, Sky, so baby. amazing Not everyone judge me okay. Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad I wanna stay wide open Cause if I shut down It just gets He's looking. Finn's looking. Look Hi. Hi. We're coming for you. Get it. Say bye to your boyfriend. He just stares. All right. That's weird. I could have swore. I could have swore Stormy had more. Packing up all the last of our food. We still have a bunch of hay, like nine things of hay to take home with us and um, I literally am struggling to walk today the pain in my thighs I didn't even think I used that much thighs but apparently I used a lot of thighs because they are aching but I just wanted to say thank you to you guys for all the kind words of encouragement that was so kind I loved reading all of your comments on that video I can't drag it. Yeah, they're all looking what's happening <laughs> Gabby said, no paparazzi, that all the horses are staring at us. It's so funny. They're all like, <laughs> they're all like, what's happening? Paparazzi coming through. Hi. Hi. Can you 
my child. I bonded with every single cat except for ours. Look, he's a dog. He wants his belly being rubbed. I remember I cried when I brought our horses here, and now I feel like I could cry taking them away because you guys have seen, I feel like they've been really happy at this place. I, lo I think they love being around all the other horses and being in the hub of excitement. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like they've really been happy here. Is it time? It's time. Stormy boy. Wow, you got messy. Remember me? <laughs> I wrote you. He's like, oh no, not you again. <laughs> Good choice of shoes there, Gabby. Just go stand in there and he'll uh, come to you. Gidget. Bye, Lily. All right. You're ready to roll, mister? You're ready to roll? We're going home. Say goodbye to your friends. He says bye. Goodbye. Yeah. Did we mention that our horse self loads? One like, them, yeah, one of them. Get used to the grass, boys, because you'll be eating it. Oh, Finn will chug it down in like two seconds. I know, I'm worried. It's okay. Storm will make Finn run enough that he won't get too much grass. Finn's like, it's spring! I can taste the grass! Because we want to bring his head up from the grass. Hey, boys, no. They're we gonna. be able to do that. Never in, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that we would be loading up three huge horses in the back of our car, in the back it's of our truck, huge. and it's taking them to our house. Like, this is crazy. Goodbye farm. It's been a pleasure having our horses here. We are going home now. Pray. Pray for us, you guys. It's gonna get... It's gonna get nuts.